Hi, I'm Carl Parker, and I'm a documentation engineer working on PyTorch here at Meta. Thanks for joining us for our second PyTorch Community Docathon. The Docathon is going to start on Wednesday, November 1st, and go for about a week and a half until Sunday, November 12th, and it'll end at 5 p.m. on Sunday. Before we get started, let's cover some important details about the format for the Docathon. Firstly, before you submit your first pull request, you'll need to fill out a Contributor License Agreement, or CLA. That will pop up right before you submit your request. Secondly, please review our Code of Conduct. You can find a link to the Code of Conduct on the issue for the Docathon on GitHub. All participants in the Docathon should abide by the Code of Conduct. I'm now gonna hand it over to my colleague, Svetlana, who will take you through some of the mechanics of actually finding issues and submitting pull requests in the PyTorch PyTorch repository. Over to you, Svetlana. Hi, my name is Svetlana, and I'm a documentation engineer on the PyTorch team. I'm going to walk you through the contributions we are looking for in the PyTorch PyTorch repo. One of the goals of this Docathon is to standardize PyTorch doc strings. We have run the tools such as PyDocLint and PyDocStyle against the PyTorch PyTorch repo, which resulted in numerous stylistic errors. These errors, while might seem non-critical, prevent the PyTorch repo from moving forward in automating the documentation process. When we ran PyDocStyle, we got 25,000 lines of stylistic errors. We have broken them down into tasks and added them to the PyTorch repo backlog. Some of these errors require you to turn a sentence into imperative mode, others to add a missing period at the end of the sentence. You can use scripts to fix these issues or perform changes manually, up to you. To get started, head over to the Docathon H2 2023 issue in the PyTorch PyTorch repo and read the instructions there. You will find information about the Docathon start and end date, and who can participate. You will also find that all the issues for this Docathon are marked with the Docathon H2 2023 label. This issue contains the information about the difficulty labels, how to submit your PR, and so on. We have a similar issue in the PyTorch tutorials repo. The first step is to assign an issue to yourself. Then you work on it and submit a PR, which we will review as up. Next, Ivan will talk about the contributions we are looking for in the PyTorch Tutorials repo. Hello, my name is Ivan, and I'm also a documentation engineer at Meta, focusing on PyTorch. So following the success of our first Docathon earlier this year, which was on the PyTorch Tutorials repo, we figured it would be a good idea to do that again. So in addition to the PyTorch PyTorch repo, we will also focus on the PyTorch tutorials repo for this Docathon. And I'm going to go through the contributions for this repo. So firstly, you want to head over to the tutorials repo and find the issue labeled Docathon H2 2023. This contains information you need to know on how to pick an issue and submit it. You should focus on issues with the Docathon H2 2023 label as issues without this label will not be considered for this Docathon. Each issue has a difficulty label, and if this is the first time you're contributing, we suggest picking an issue with a lower difficulty. Once you find an issue, assign it to yourself by adding an assign to me comment. If this issue is already assigned, move on to another. Once you have successfully assigned yourself, get working on the issue as soon as possible and get your PR in. Once you send in a PR, someone from the PyTorch team will review it and give you some feedback if needed. Please respond to any feedback that you get because we are trying to get as many PRs in and as many issues closed as possible. I will now pass it over to Carl to give you some closing remarks. Thanks, Ivan. For questions about the Docathon, please post in our Discord channel. We'll also have a live voice chat session on Discord at the beginning of the Docathon. That will happen on Wednesday, November 1st in the morning at 10.15 a.m. Pacific time. At the end of the Docathon, we are going to recognize our top contributors. 
and everyone who participates will receive a badge that will be displayed as part of their GitHub account. Thanks for working with us on PyTorch, and we look forward to collaborating with you.